Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to World of Tanks. Good to see you here once again. I am back in World of Tanks Sandbox Test Server to bring you some new hot stuff. And uh, Sandbox Test Server was down actually for about one week or maybe a little bit more, one to two weeks it was down. And uh, Wargaming did some changes to tier 10 light tanks. Uh, I believe we can say that they rebalanced those vehicles a little bit. And in today's Today's episode I am going to focus at tier 10 D100 LT which is tier 10 light tank from Soviet Russia because when I first introduced all those tier 10 light tanks to you my first episode was about this tank as well so I believe let's continue the trend uh, but uh, just to give you a little sneak peek into the future they changed XM551 Sheridan's model they even changed the model and not just by a little bit because you can see we have a lot more equipment on this beast. It didn't have anything over here. So what this means to the Sheridan now is uh, despite having no armor whatsoever. Where are you? Hull armor 14, 31 and 12. You have a lot more other equipment that can help you. Uh, to protect yourself getting penetrated by heat shells. I believe this grill over here protects you from uh, heat shells. And uh, this spaced armor plate. Once again, I am not 100% sure that this is actually spaced armor, but uh, this is at least how it felt when I first tested this tank out uh, in the previous sandbox test server. And uh, this spaced armor protects you from HG shells. So no armor whatsoever, but you have a lot more other equipment that you can rely on, actually. So really interesting changes over here and uh, some other changes to the rest of the light tanks as well. But as I said, in today's episode, in this episode, I am going to focus on this tank, T100 LT. And uh, let's see what they did to this vehicle. And uh, let's start with firepower, because they actually nerfed TPM a little bit. Uh, so new rate of fire is 7.14 rounds per minute. It used to be 7.84 rounds per minute. I mean raw gun stats. At the moment we are looking at raw gun stats without boosting it with uh, crew members or equipment or so on so on. Uh, average penetration and average damage, everything is the same over here. 230 penetration, 248 with uh, premium rounds and 320 average damage. Now DPM 2286 damage per minute. It used to be 2510. So with your equipment you were able to boost your DPM over 3000. But at the moment, uh, and by the way accuracy and aiming time is the same, 0.44 accuracy and 2 second aiming time. Uh, so uh, with uh, the old version of T100LT you were able to boost your DPM over 3000. But at the moment I am able to get my reload time down to 7.09 seconds, 8.47 rounds per minute, uh, 1.83 uh, second aiming time and 0 0.4 accuracy. 2709 average damage per minute. Now sadly, in my opinion at least, everything under survivability is the same. Hit points, 1500 hit points, this is okay, but what I was not happy with was that hull armor, frontal hull armor, 120 mm thick, with amazing slope. You are able to bounce tier 10 medium tanks like Badjet or TVP or something like that, and uh, let's not even talk about tier 8 or tier 9 guns and tanks. Uh, 120 mm is a little bit too much in my opinion and especially if I am going to compare this hull armor to all the rest of the light tanks. Nothing comes even close to this hull armor. And turret as well, frontally 180 mm thick. Uh, so hopefully, I am still hopeful that they are going to do something like nerf it down to 100 mm or something. Something like that, I don't know. Maybe, uh, but uh, let's move on. Mobility now. Mobility got hit pretty hard as well. Uh, weight is the same from 15 ton to 15.3 tons. Uh, heavy tank, but I believe equipment is also 
uh, working over here so let's say weight is the same but engine power 720 horsepower engine from 850 and uh, specific power got also hit pretty hard 47.06 the top speed is the same 72 kph reverse speed 25 and uh, vehicle traverse speed stock or base vehicle uh, traverse speed is 56 degrees per second so mobility you are not going to be that crazy nimble anymore more previous a specific power was over 55 but now 47.6 is actually quite understandable in my opinion now concealment camo as it is light tank it has really good base camo anyways but i decided to boost it a little bit uh, with uh, full camo crew i have uh, three crew members with 100 percent uh, camo skills and uh, i believe ventilation is also boosting that because it gives plus uh, five percent to all crew skills is it working like that guys i think it does work like that so uh, my camo or concealment factor is actually pretty crazy 40.39% and this tank actually has the best uh, pace camo among all the rest of the tier 10 light tanks and actually let's see how good this is with camouflage net let's see purchase 50.39 while stationary while camo is active so yes I, I just spent 10 really precious gold to test that out but i will okay and uh, let's put go to the optics back on and uh, finally let's talk about spotting and uh, t100 lt got hit with minus 10 meter view range nerf uh, so now it has 410 meters uh, stock view range it used to have 420 blaze it but with my equipment and loadout as always it is almost 500 meters and i believe i can actually play this tank with the vertical stabs as well and nothing is wrong because you know our maps in world of tanks are fairly small and 450 meter view range works quite good uh, more view range simply gives you better chance spotting tanks that have really good camo factor uh, so this is how it works if you didn't know that but uh, this is new t100 lt and uh, now i believe let's jump into a few battles and let's see how this new version performs let's go so t100 lt on karelia this is actually tier 9 battle enemy team has uh, two tier 9s and one tier 8 so matchmaking is not very balanced if i may say so but well if this is what we get i take it and i am going to be in my first uh, position quickly let's see maybe i'm able to spot something someone and yes i was able to do that not so funny anymore actually and enemy team has two snipers as well and jpz 100 together with type 5 are able to see me Quick shot into the T100 LT, who is showing his side to me. Now let's knock that tree over. Maybe it provides me good enough cover from getting spotted. It should be actually. Let's see. Okay, let's stay over here. Now the good thing uh, about light tanks is your camo is exactly the same when you're moving as stationary but uh, behind the bush you still are boosting your camo hmm. looking on the minimap i guess somewhere over there i just missed him seems like it Ooh, hello beautiful one quick shot into the pooper and i am gone yep this is t100 lt's armor for you and I like how our 183 is pinging me, like I should do something. <laughs> when we have bloody three tier 10 light tanks in the exact same position, I am not going to do anything aggressive over here. I just have to wait it out. Let's keep him spotted. RT is helping me out. Okay, stunned for 13 seconds. Ooh tiny little t100 lt 
My aim is kind of off. My settings are not the same as on live servers, so... Like, my mouse movement is a little bit faster than usual. Ah, shit. Come on, gun gallerier. Beautiful. Quick shot into the lower plate. This guy is still not with 100% efficiency and Emil 2 has been spotted and someone is shooting me from the distance, so I pull back. And let's wait. Let's wait for yet another opportunity. Okay, this guy is keeping himself spotted pretty much. One more art splash needed. And... Okay, I heard our arty fired. But not in my direction, seems like it. And kill, okay, beautiful. Did I get spotted before? Nope, nice, okay, let's go up the hill. Let's do it, hopefully without getting spotted. And I try to spot something from here. Maybe that Emil 2 or someone. Ooh, hello, brother! Oh, I love me some arty kill. In before art is going to steal that. And <laughs> this is exactly what happened. So, quickly, let's try to spot something. Where did you go, Emil 2? Ooh, here you are. Okay, arty, take it. Yet another food for you. Yet another nice snack for you. Let's try to spot that guy once again. Or oh, Arty. Of course, I'm going to shoot Arty whenever I can. Emil 2 has been stunned, actually. And kill. Is Emil 2. Yep, Emil 2 is driving away. And Ar not Arty. Enemy light tank is also over here. Penetration. What are you trying to do? Ram me? Okay. Let's do it. Easy. Actually, I'm going to trick that Emil a little bit. I'm going to show that I move and stuff. Ooh, Badget, Arty, Badget, Arty. Is he baiting me or not? Nope. Yet another kill, and I'm dead. Mm, yeah. I am dead. Emil 2 actually decided to come for me, but Arty, come on. Uh, did he hit him? Yes, he did. 300 and 8. Ooh, come on, go, go, go. Beautiful, almost beautiful. So, over 5000 combined damage. I am not too mad. I actually positioned myself uh, really, really badly going back. I thought I'm going to trick that Emil 2, but I actually tricked myself uh, doing that. If I would have stayed behind that rock, I believe that Emil 2 would have been fooled to death easily. Yes. Thinking back at this situation, this would have been the best play, but well, you cannot see the future. I didn't know that this guy is going to be aggressive right away, so yes. Uh, let's not be result-oriented, guys. Let's not do that. Three kills in this uh, kind of uh, tier 10 heavy matchup. Not too bad, I guess. And I was able to pick up two arty kills, so even sweeter. Uh, but uh, let's see the end plate and let's call it an episode. And oh guys, they actually changed one medal as well. They changed Pascucci's medal. Destroy two enemy SPGs in one battle. It used to be, or at the moment on live server, it is destroy three enemy SPGs in one battle. But I believe they did it because in the next patch uh, we are going to get a new matchmaking system. And in that matchmaking system uh, there is artillery limit. 3 per 1 team. So yes, it makes sense that they finally changed uh, this uh, thing over here as well. Anyways, I was a second by experience, uh, 3 kills, not too bad, not too bad, I believe, 2551 damage to my assistants, and I made some credits profit uh, despite receiving that uh, special thing from Sandbox server, so I made 6000 credits profit. 
Uh, I used, I think I used my repair kit and I didn't use my med kit. Yep, as it says over here, <laughs> of course. Anyways, this tank, T100 LT, after uh, some nerfs, after some rebalancing, uh, how is it? Uh, what do I think about this tank now? Now, I still think they have to do something with the hull armor. 120 mm thick armor on this tank that weighs only 15.3 tons is pretty ridiculous. And uh, the fact that you are able to bounce uh, batch at uh, TVPs and so on and so on uh, while they are out aiming at you with your frontal armor is pretty ridiculous, uh, your lower blade is not so huge. So yes, I believe they should nerf the frontal armor to 100 or something. It is still going to be viable versus tier 8s, uh, uh, tier 9s uh, for, uh, versus some tier 9 guns. Uh, but uh, tier 10s should easily be able to penetrate one tier 10 light tank in my opinion because the armor difference uh, to all the rest of the light tanks is just ridiculous. We have one super heavily armored tank, light tank, uh, frontally heavily armored I mean, and all the rest of the light tanks are uh, fairly weak compared to this one. But I believe all the changes to the mobility, thumbs up from me. Uh, lower engine power, weaker engine, I mean lower specific power, old uh, power to weight ratio was ridiculous. This thing moved around on the battlefield like like one, I don't know, dog on, on drugs or something like that. Uh, your specific power is still going to be really awesome. Uh, top speed 72 kph is going to stay the same, which is awesome. And your traverse speed is also bloody amazing. So I believe under mobility everything is okay. And uh, minus 10 meter view range, uh, 410 based view range is still really, really good. On maps that we have in World of Tanks at the moment, 1000 by 1000 meters uh, maps, it is more than enough. So, this is new, or let's say not new, let's say pre-public test T100 LT. I believe they are not going to do anything else uh, before public test. I might be wrong, Don't, uh, do not go out me on that, but I think this is how this tank is going to be in the public test. Hopefully. Actually, hopefully, they are going to do something to the Hull Arbor, but we'll see. Anyways, let me know what you think about this version of T100 LT. I hope you enjoyed, I hope this episode was informative, I catch you next time, take care and bye.